hairline look. And yeah, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and cut my lace. Now you can just take your tweezers and remove some of the hair. You know, I'm just going to remove some of the hair from the front because my hairline is low. I want my baby hairs to look natural as possible. I don't want them too bold. I want them to like um, match the unit, okay? I'm going to use this wide comb. I'm just going to detangle the hair. Okay, guys. So, so we have our hair all detangled. What I'm going to do now is take my um, blow dryer. I'm going to like press it just a little bit just so it's in the um, direction I want. And I think I'm going to add a little bit of powder to my lace. Just so everything can look super natural. You could just spray some tint, but I'm going to add powder. And you guys, I love how this wig looks. It looks so cute. I'm going to get my scissors and we're going to trim it a little bit. And don't be scared to cut your um, kinky curly hair. When you cut it, it looks better when you go back and um, co-wash and everything. Like your hair just lays. Your hair just is going to lay better, so. So I think this is like the shape. So what I'm gonna do is um, we're gonna get ready to define the curls and we're gonna use a little bit of product. We're gonna use a diffuser. It's gonna be really easy. Now I've already wet down some of the hair, but I'm just gonna show you guys what I did. I just took my water bottle. It's nothing in here but water. And I just sprayed it on here. I'm just gonna take my fingers and rake it through. Look at the hairline, you guys. Isn't it cute? So you just wanna rake it through. And the hair did have some shrinkage. So it's not as long as Megan's, but we're gonna make it look <laughs> like hers, okay? So. I really like the texture of this hair. It is a true kinky curly. It's not like that kinky curly that's like silky. This one is a true kinky curly. And um, yeah, you just wanna make sure it's nice and detangled. So now we're gonna take our styler. We're gonna use um, behind the zone noodle head, okay? You can also use gel or something, but I like this product because it's not too crunchy. Okay guys, so my next step, I'm gonna take my diffuser to dry it and then I'm gonna show you how I um, stretch it a little bit just to get the exact style that I want, okay? And here's my diffuser. I use the Ion Whisper Quiet Light. I got this from Sally's. So I'm about to pop off our diffuser and put on our concentrated nozzle. And what we're gonna do is just stretch our hair and blow dry at the root. So just gonna pull it and stretch. So this is how it looks stretched and this is how it looks, you know, just diffused and dry. Okay, you guys, so we are pretty much done with the style. I've showed you guys how I styled it and how I um, did the little cut and got it to look like this. I really love it. It does look like her hair. It's not as long, but it's definitely inspired by her hair and it's gorgeous, you guys. Her hair is really soft and it definitely gives you that natural look. I'm gonna do a close up on the texture just so you guys can see it a little bit better. Okay, you guys, so we are done. I hope you guys like this. Um, all the details, everything I used from today's video will be linked below. Let me know in the comment section below. How do you guys like it? How are you feeling this shorter look on me? You guys absolutely love it. Like, look at that texture. It's just so cute and it looks so natural. I can't wait to wear this out. I wonder what Kyrie's gonna say about my hair because he always loves my hair. He's like, mommy, I love your hair this time. So we'll see what he has to say. If he, if he likes it, if he gives it a compliment, that means it's good.